guys welcome back to my channel Raquel Jeanette here so in today's video I was super excited to be able to play in these kind of bright gold colors because I was able to get my hands on the Anastasia Beverly Hills Riviera palette so this is she right here and I am obsessed with the story color or the color story what am I saying um yes as you can see it's super beautiful um one thing I definitely noticed with this palette is that it has um, the versatility to go from like a neutral kind of look to a bold bright look or you can do a little bit of both so that is something that I really really liked because I'm not the type of person that really goes for like bright bold eyeshadow looks usually I tip typically um, stay within the realm of like you know the natural earthy neutral tones so the fact that this palette had these bright bold colors but also gave me the option to kind of go neutral if I wanted to was really um, comforting, I guess is the word. So I really appreciate that with this palette. And I think that anybody out there that is a little bit nervous to try color or a little scared to try color um, and step out of the comfort zone, I think that this palette will definitely work for you and it will definitely be a benefit to you because it kind of gives you that option to play. So I really like that. Um, I didn't really experience much fallout with this palette as well. Um, if anything, you will see these two uh, colors right here, which is Cons, Cans, Cons, and Palm. Um, these were the darkest shades in the palette, and I felt like those maybe had the most fallout than the rest, and I didn't like, I kind of just swatched the rest of the colors, but I didn't really play with them on my eyelids. Um, so I'm not sure, if, you know, that was just me or not. I don't know. Those are really the only flaws that I saw with the palette is that those had a little bit more fallout than the rest. I want to say that the packaging is A1 because these are like the previous uh, the previous material that they use which is like that suede kind of velvety material and it gets really really dirty so I'm really happy that they came out with this new like hard plastic and um, it's still kind of it's you gotta get dirty I mean it's makeup but I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier to keep this palette clean than the other ones. If you'd like to see how this look came out, then please keep on watching. And first, if you could please hit that subscribe button and that notifications bell down below because you guys, I am so close to 100 subscribers. And I know you guys are probably thinking, okay, 100 subscribers, Raquel, that's nothing that I should. Like there's so many other big YouTube gurus out there. I get it. But to me, you know, 100 subscribers is a lot. Like that to get to triple digits would be like, you guys like you actually really like me a little bit you know like that would just make me feel so special so you know you got to start somewhere and I feel like <sighs> I'm so close please just help me get there so please hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell see you in a second okay so I went ahead and did my brows and foundation off camera just to save some time so now what I'm taking is um, the double-ended brush that came in the palette and I'm actually taking this deep purple shade here which is called cons cans cons I believe and I'm just dipping into that with the flat end of the brush and I'm packing that right here on my lid and I'm just keeping it super super close to um, my lash line as possible because I don't want this to go too high we're gonna end up blending out the corners or the edges in a second so again I just want this to be really low All right, so applying that purple, it was a little patchy um, while I was trying to apply it. I'm not sure if it's the primer that I used on my eyelids. I actually used the um, Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer in 385, if you're wondering. But yeah, I used that on my lids and then um, set it with the Pro Filter Fenty Beauty setting powder. So um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it as to why it's a little patchy on the lids right here, right in the center, but it's fine because the look that I have in mind I think is going to help kind of cover that or disguise it anyway so we'll be fine. So now using like a I guess a dome blending brush or a pointy blending brush I'm just going to go over that purple there and just kind of blend it out. Actually you know what this brush might not work. Yeah, this is the wrong brush to use, guys. <laughs> okay, so scratch that. I'm actually going to take the other end of the little double-ended brush that came in the palette, and I'm going to just use that to blend it out and make sure we have no harsh lines. So 
So I think to help further blend out the um, crease shade, which is the cons right here, I'm actually going to take this shade right here, which is Coastline. Yep, Coastline, it's like that pale peach. And I'm just going to, if this works, lightly go over that purple there to just kind of help diffuse it because it was really, really difficult for me to blend it out. And I'm not sure if it was my base that I put down or if it was just the shadow itself, but it's kind of difficult to blend. Now taking a Morphe uh, M514 brush, I'm gonna take the color Palm, which is this right here, this deep brown, and I'm gonna put this on the inner and outer corner of my lid and just blend it into the purple. All right, so we have that all blended out. So now I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Inheritance, a beautiful gold. And I'm actually gonna put that right in the center, right here. And just blend it slightly upwards, but again, keeping this really low because you actually just almost want this to be like an accent highlight in the middle of your eye. And you'll see what I mean later. Actually, if I can just take my finger, my nails are kind of long, but I'm gonna take some on my finger here and just blot it and see if that, oh yeah, see, that's what I wanted. That vibrant yellow gold. Okay, so now taking a duo fiber brush, I'm just going to stipple around where I applied that gold, just because I don't wanna disrupt um, the purple. It took me a while to blend that out, so I really don't want to disrupt anything around. I'm just going to pretty much go around the perimeter of where I place the gold and stipple it out. It's really easy to blend this gold, by the way. All right, so next I'm taking this beautiful pink shade here, which is Bahamas, and I'm applying that right here on my lower lash line and keeping it as close to the lash line as I possibly can. Um, I'm gonna end up blending it downwards later, but I do wanna keep it pretty tight. So I ended up switching brushes. I'm just gonna take a flat packer brush and use that same Bahama shade and just go right here. Yeah, see, that's what I wanted. I felt like the other brush was not giving me the vibrancy that I wanted, so this works. Oh my gosh, that pink shade is so beautiful. I look insane right now, I know, but don't worry, it will all come together. Um, so now I'm going to take the little packer brush that came, the double-ended brush that came with the uh, palette. I'm taking that one more time with this cons shade right here, and I'm just going to go along the outer corner of my lower lash line just to help blend it with the upper eyeshadow that we have. And I don't want to lose any of that pink, so I'm just going to go back in with that Bahama shade and just go over the purple like so. Just blend it all together. Okay, you guys, so everything is all blended out as far as the eyeshadow goes. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face. I'm totally running late. I actually have somewhere to be. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face off camera, add a little bit of lashes and liner, and I'll catch you guys in a second. Okay, you guys, so this is it for the final look. So I'm really, really happy how it, how it turned out. I honestly love the colors, love the color story. Um, so my final thoughts is that this palette is literally one of my favorites that they've ever done. Um, normally, I kind of gravitate towards like neutrals and earthy tones so this was the first time that I actually looked at this palette and this color story and thought to myself wow this is like something I could actually wear or would feel comfortable wearing on a day-to-day -day basis and you actually can do two different looks you can do like a, a bold kind of look with these colors but you can also kind of keep it neutral with these so they kind of give you some options here um, all in one palette and I feel like it's pretty compact you can easily travel with this so definitely a thumbs up for me i will keep using it keep doing more looks with it um so check out my instagram because i will be having some looks with this palette popping up on my timeline so yeah you guys this is 
the final look I'm really happy um sorry someone's walking by my window right now and it's kind of awkward because he's looking at me hi <laughs> um so yeah this is like the final look and I just really hope you guys enjoyed it um again please Go ahead and subscribe and hit that notifications bell so you can uh, be updated when I have new videos coming out. But yeah, I'm so excited to finally have this palette in my hands and I really like the way it turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching again and until next time, I'll see you guys on my next video.